Well, good morning for all the, to all those who are studying the Word of God and reading. I hope that you're enjoying this um, this dive into and this study through the, the whole Bible. We are here on July the 17th, Wednesday, and our scripture reading for today is Psalm 132 through 138. So let's have a prayer together. God, we thank you for the the beauty of the day. Lord, we thank you for your creation, how, how wonderful it is, even though it's in a fallen state. Father, we ask for your help today as we read your word, as we seek to know it better and know you better. Father, thank you for leading us through it by your spirit in your son's name. Amen. Okay, so here we go in Psalm 132. David and Zion are chosen. David asked to be remembered for his faithfulness and for seeking a place for the Ark of the Covenant. David rejoices in God's promise to place his offspring on the throne after him. And in Psalm 133, living in harmony. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. It's like oil running down your beard, he says. The Lord has appointed a blessing, life evermore, life forevermore. In Psalm 134, it's a call to evening worship. Stand up and bless the Lord. Lift up your hands and bless the Lord. Psalm 135, the Lord is great. Praise the Lord for he is good. His name is delightful. He does whatever he pleases. He gave the land as an inheritance to his people Israel. He will vindicate his people. Idols, or non-gods, are worshipped but are no help. Bless the Lord. Psalm 136, God's love is eternal. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. God's mighty works are recounted in this psalm. And each time a line... A, an instance is recounted, it's uh, followed by the phrase, His faithful love endures forever. A truth that needed to be taught and a truth that we need to understand today, but the, the psalmist there is making sure that everybody understands that God's faithful love endures forever. Psalm 137 is a lament of the exiles. He sat and wept in Babylon. We sat and wept in Babylon when we remembered Jerusalem. May my right hand forget its skill if I do not exalt Jerusalem, my greatest joy. Psalm 138, a thankful heart. David sings praises, thanking God and promising to exalt the Lord above all. He seeks to tell everyone, even kings and angels, of God's love, provision, and protection. The Lord will fulfill His purpose for me. His faithful love endures forever. Okay, let me get to our thought for today. All true Christians are members of the body of Christ, as it says in Romans chapter 12, verses 4 and 5, and 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 and 13. Christ is revealed as the descendant of David who will sit upon David's throne. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give him unto him the throne of his father David. I hope you have a great day. May God bless you in everything that you seek to do today, and may you honor him in all things.